Hello everyone. I hope you are doing very well out there and taking care. In this lesson, we are going to analyze and try to understand this structure. Have something done. Let's start with a little comparison. Look at these sentences. I painted my house and I had my house painted. There is a difference. If we say, I painted my house, it means that I painted it myself. But, if I say, I had my house painted, it means that I hired someone else to paint it for me. That means someone else did the job for me. Let's look at the form and the use of this structure. We use have something done to say that we arrange someone to do something for us. In order to do this, we must have a subject, the verb have, an object, and a verb in the past participle form. Look at this example. Sandra is having her house painted. Sandra is the subject, is having is the verb have in the present continuous form. Her house is the object and painted is the verb in the past participle form. Sandra is having her house painted. It means that she is not painting it herself. Somebody else is doing it. Look at this other example. This is a very usual one. She cut her hair. It means that she cut it herself. But if we say she had her hair cut, it means that she went to the hairdressers. Another use of this structure is when we want to express that someone does something to us, not for us. Look at this sentence. John had his door broken by a thief. We have the subject, John, have in the past form, his door is the object, and broken the verb in the past participle form. By a thief is the agent, that is to say, the one who did the action. Here we have the structure in a simpler way. Subject, verb, have in the past form, the object, the verb in the past participle form, and yesterday is a complement that tells us when the action happened. Now let's look at this structure through the different tenses. In the simple present, we can say, he repairs the car and he has the car repaired. Present continuous, he is repairing the car, he is having the car repaired. Past simple, he repaired the car, he had the car repaired. Now, let's look at this detail. What tells us the tense of the sentence in this structure is the verb have. Look. Here we have the verb have in the third person singular of simple present form, has. In the present continuous, we have the verb have in the continuous form, is having. And in the simple past, we have the verb have in the past form. Look at some other tenses. Past continuous. He was repairing the car. He was having the car repaired. Again, have is in the past continuous form here. Future will or future simple. 
he will repair the car and he will have the car repaired. Be going to, he is going to repair the car, he is going to have the car repaired. We also have the present perfect, he has repaired the car and he has had the car repaired. And the past perfect, he had repaired the car and he had had the car repaired. In this example, we can see that uh, other people did the action rather than the subject. Look at this. Our neighbors had their roof repaired after the storm. This means that they didn't do the action. Another people was hired and repaired the roof for them. Okay? Now, here we have some elements uh, that we must use in order to build a sentence with have something done. We have the subject, we have an object, and we have a verb that can be in the past participle form. This complement of time tells me that the action happened in the past. So the sentence should be and had her wedding dress made last month. That is all for today. I hope you have understood this structure, how this works. Otherwise, you can ask me whatever you want. Thanks a lot.